Thank you for tuning in and deciding to listen to my most recent speech entitled, That Kid Is Me. I'm thinking about the kids that that don't have the self-esteem necessary to be successful in school and get better grades. This is for you. A lot of times you hear kids say this, that can't be me. I'm not that smart. I don't have what it takes. I'm just me. I wish, I wish, I wish I were him. You know, too many times we as students associate earning above average grades with individuals other than ourselves. We look at them, you know, and brag that they are the smartest people in our class. Those are the smartest kids in our class right over there. Not here, right over there. Those kids who practice positive behavior and don't get sent to the principal's office are said by some to be geeks, nerds, or goody two-shoes. I want you to know that everyone and anyone listening to me right now can earn above average grades. Stop looking at your classmate with envy because you yourself are one of the smartest people in your class. You can practice positive behavior, which will keep you out of the principal's office regardless of what others call you because you have power. There are no shortage of awards when it comes to honor roll, dean's list, or president's list. I was a C and B student in high school, but made president's list and graduated with a 4.0 grade point average in college. When I look back at my time in high school, I realized that I was doing just enough to get by in some classes. I loved English and writing, but I struggled in math and science. Having a tutor wouldn't have helped me. It wouldn't have helped then because, because of the way I saw myself. I, I, I didn't believe I was smart. I saw other kids that I believed to be smarter than me. Did you know that you have more than enough of the right stuff in you right now to get the results you want? No matter what your present circumstances are, no matter what you've done in the past, you can be successful and change the way you see yourself today and for the rest of your life. J.K. Rowling, the famous author of Harry Potter series, had a breathtaking quote that said, we do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. Just think about that. Imagine better. Not do better or talk better, but imagine better. You can be a straight A student if you see yourself doing it. If you can imagine it happening, you've taken the first step. You have to see it in your mind in order to find the courage to even try. Don't fool yourself into sitting back and expecting the world one day to change to suit your needs because it won't happen. The world is the same now as it's always been. It's the people that inhabit it that have changed. What many labeled impossible has become possible because of the determined inventors and innovators that made history simply by changing their mindset and ignoring their critics. They had to constantly tell themselves they were on the right track even when no one else believed in them. They had to have an unbending faith in the success or the future success of what they presently imagined to remain focused. Albert Einstein said that he had tried 99 times and failed but was successful when he tried it the hundredth time. Rarely will you succeed the first time around, but don't get discouraged. Remember that you are not the first person to try this. Someone else has tried it, succeeded, and so will you. You don't have to be the smartest kid per se to get better grades because success is more about attitude than aptitude. There are individuals running big businesses now with disabilities and and shortcomings. Some of them have dyslexia, paralysis, and even cancer. 
but that hasn't stopped them. Look at yourself, look at the person next to you. Do you have a disability? Do you have something that's wrong with you? I'm thinking a lot of, for a lot of you, the answer is going to be no. You just haven't made your mind up that this is what you're going to do. I believe in the law of attraction, which states that basically you attract what you want because of the actions you constantly take. If you're kind, you'll attract kind people. If you're positive, you'll attract positive people. If you're negative, though, you'll attract negative results. Brian Tracy said that our mind is the most valuable possession that we have. The quality of our lives is and will be a reflection of how well we develop, train, and utilize this precious gift. You've got to understand that believing is not enough to succeed, but it is the main ingredient for success. Don't let your present circumstances be used as an excuse to settle for whatever you receive. If you want more out of life, you have to put more into your life. We don't get lucky and succeed. Success is the result of a well-executed plan. To get better grades, we have to change our habits and the way we see ourselves. We have to raise our standards and levels of effort while lowering our fear of failing. Failure is a part of life, but it's only temporary. We don't fail forever. It lasts only as long as we allow it to. Vince Lombardi said that winning is not a sometime thing. You don't win once in a while. You don't do things right once in a while. You do them right all of the time. Winning is a habit. Unfortunately, so is losing. Victory is always possible for the person who refuses to stop fighting. If you take notes on Monday for a test on Friday, you have to become more and more familiar with that material. In order to do that, you have to read over it outside of class every day for about 20 minutes per subject until the day of the test. Simple, right? If it doesn't make sense in class, make it make sense outside of class by relating it to something you have already experienced. Don't let frustration turn into fear of trying. Become curious about the unknown and allow yourself to add new knowledge to your mind's database. You have to be hungry and eager to learn. Now I know you can do this. I know this. You want to know why? I know you can do this because every one of you has watched a memorable movie or heard a catchy song. After seeing that movie or hearing that song enough times, you memorize the movie's entire plot and dialogue and the song's lyrics and meaning. Sometimes you only needed to hear it and see it twice, and sometimes more. The reason you were able to do this is because you had programmed yourself to absorb this information, to absorb this, the facts about this new movie, to absorb the lyrics and meaning of this song. The movie or song was something that excited you, it grabbed your attention, nothing else mattered, all distractions were blocked out. You told yourself that if you heard the song one more time, or saw the movie one more time, you would know all the lyrics and uncover all the plot twists. Now all you have to do is give your classwork the same sort of attention. It's that simple. There is no song you can't memorize. There is no movie plot you can't figure out. There is no class you can't get an A in if you take action. Decide what you want. Plan for success. Take the necessary actions. If a friend tells you to skip out on studying to hang out, ask yourself this. Does my friend have my best interests in mind? If what I'm doing, this, this studying, earns me the success I want, what's the benefit of hanging out with a friend that does not study, that does not work as hard as I do, who does not have the same goals as me? 
you'll come to find out that hanging with your friend is not helping you. It's helping your friend. And that is a distraction from your goals. Friends, cell phones, television shows, parties, they're all distractions. Your class material is not secondary to these, it's primary. After you've studied and consistently gotten the grades you worked hard for, give yourself some time to enjoy these things, but not before. Friends come and go. Calls can be returned. Shows can be recorded. Parties happen year round. The work ethic that you take into the future can be developed right now. Don't wait for a traumatic incident or a crisis to take place in order for you to get your priorities in order. You can get them in order right now. You can start being successful right now. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter if you're popular. It doesn't matter what size you are. It doesn't matter whether others approve of what you're doing. It doesn't matter how tall or how strong you are. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. Your present situation does not matter because you're working towards your future. And your present situation is what it is. It's not your future situation. It's just where you are right now. It does not determine where you will be in the future. Diana Wentworth said that it doesn't matter what you are thinking or what fear you have if you just do it. Action is the only thing that matters. I can see that at the end of my life, I am not going to look back and say, I wish I had taken more action. It doesn't matter what others think or what they say. It's not their grade. It's not their reputation. It's not their dream. It's not their life yours. It's yours and yours alone. And you have to start acting like that. Imagine what your life would be like if you decided you didn't care what anybody else thought. Refuse to settle for being average. Think big and not small. If you want more, be prepared to do more. Anatole France said that to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream. Not only plan, but also believe. I want to thank you for listening to this speech, and, and I'd like to leave you with, with one of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite speakers, Les Brown. And it goes like this. Aim for the moon. And even if you miss you will land somewhere among the stars. Thank you again for listening.